This program is supported by Echo Communications, a digitally integrated commercial printer and mailer located in New London, New Hampshire since 1997, with roots going back much further as the Country Press, AccuMail, and the home of the Kearsarge Shopper. Echo Communications. Welcome back to your Yankee Chronicle. I'm your host, Abby Peel. So much is going on around here, but there is more. Tell us, Nancy, about what Summer Music Associates has staged for us. Well, this year is a very special year for Summer Music Associates because it's our 50th season. So we're celebrating in grand style, and we have put together a series of concerts that are phenomenally just wonderful. Our first concert is on Saturday, June 10th at the Sawyer Theater at Colby Sawyer College, and it's the Boston Civic Symphony conducted by Francisco Noya. And this year, the Boston Civic is bringing Kayla Wakao, who is an internationally award-winning and competition-winning violinist. She's 18 years old. She is astonishing. You will be in love with her, I am sure. And they are presenting Beethoven's uh, number six symphony, the Pastoral, and also um, Ernest Chanson's piece, Poem for Violin and Orchestra, and Sibelius's piece, Finlandia, which is a very timely piece uh, because it expresses Finland's relationship with Russia at a time in Finland's history. So that's going to be a very exciting concert. Then on Thursday, June 29th, at the First Baptist Church, we have Fred Moyer Jazz Trio coming back. Very, very loved performer. He is from New Hampshire and is world-renowned. And joining Fred is Nicole Densmore, our very own wonderful local elementary school music teacher and flautist. And she and Fred will be playing a Schubert Sonata in A minor, arranged for flute and piano. And that's as well as the first half of the concert being Fred playing classical music and the second half where he opens up the piano and you can see the keyboard on the mirror inside, which is just fantastic. And he'll be joined by his trio for classic jazz trios. Um, that concert's fantastic. Then on July 6th here at the church, we have the Quarteto Latino Americano String Quartet. I love saying their name. These are four guys from Mexico City. They have been playing together since 1982. They've won two Grammys for Latin American classical music, and that is their purpose. They like to bring the Latin American composers to a broader audience, and their choices of music are spectacular. But they're starting with a Mozart string quartet, just to please our audience, and then they continue with a piece by Chavez, he's a Mexican composer, that's a string quartet, and then Revueltas, another string quartet called Musica de Feria, and then they continue the program with Leo Brower, he's a Cuban composer, another string quartet of course, and then Concertante by Villalobos, who's more familiar to us, I believe, than those other composers. So it will be a night of classical music a la Latin American style, great rhythm and tremendous passion. Another Thursday night on the 27th of July here at the church, we have the Monin Frogs. These are six saxophone players. Every kind of saxophone that's ever been invented, they play it, and they're hilarious. They're fantastically trained classical musicians, but they play a variety of ragtime, jazz, pop, and classical, and they're delightful. This is a standing room only concert, I would think, and they have been receiving ovations all over the world where they play. They are funny and wonderful. So that concert is one I'm especially looking forward to. And then to round out the season on August 10th, the Thursday night, back at Colby Sawyer, we have Chris Brubeck's Triple Play coming back. His rollicking, romping jazz, blues, rock, folk concert with that great harmonica player, Mad Cat Ruth, will delight us all. We fill the house whenever they come and we're thrilled that he's returning to us. So that's the season for this year. And I'd also like to mention that in January of 2024, we're having another youth outreach program. This is a group called Ball in the House, and they're a male a cappella singing group, and they will be working with the choruses at the middle and high school 
for the Kearsarge Regional School District. So we are very proud and pleased to be bringing another group of musicians to inspire our young people to become more involved in music. For more information about the concert programs and ordering tickets and directions to the concerts, please visit our website. So we hope to see you at the concerts. It's going to be a great season. Thank you, Nancy, and to Summer Music Associates for their world-class year-after-year entertainment you provide. When we come back, we'll get a rundown of the music for our ears this summer on the stage at the Jim Mitchell Park in Warner, where something wonderful is always happening. <laughs>